Hello everyone, Mr. Fuller here with another math lesson. Today's lesson is going to be on solving equa or linear equations in the form of ax plus b is equal to c. So if uh, we have, uh, I did another lesson last week that was just in the form ax is equal to b, so if you get stuck on the last part of these kind of questions, you might want to go take a look at that other video in the form ax is equal to b first. Um, so we'll get started here, we might as well do a few examples. So solve for the unknown. So the first thing we want to do when we solve um, these type of linear equations is, the whole idea is to get the variable all by itself on the one side. Again, like my other lesson, um, we want to make sure that the equal sign stays right in the middle where it is. So we're going to treat the equal sign kind of like a balance and whatever we do to the one side we need to do to the other side. So in the first example here we're looking to get the r by itself. To do that the 4 is kind of really close to it. The 2 is a whole number. What we can actually do is we can move that to the other side of the equation. So to do that right now we have 4r minus 2. So the opposite of minusing 2 is going to be plus 2. And the reason why we do the opposite is because we want that to get to 0. We want it to disappear. If we picked any other number, it would still be there. So in this particular, exa particular example now, we have 4r minus 2 plus 2. So 2 plus 2, well that just goes to 0. So that is actually disappears. And then on the other side, we want to write the exact same thing. So 14, and since we added a minus 2 on this, or plus to minus, or plus to 2 on this side, we want to plus a 2 on that side as well. So as you can see, with the two red plus 2s, we've kept it even on both sides of the equal side, or both sides of the scale. So with that, we get 4r left over. And on this side, we get 14 plus 2 is 16. Now what we have is an equation that looks a lot similar, or a lot like the, the questions that we did beforehand. So in this case, we have four times r. So we want to, since it's four times r, we want to divide by four, divide by four. Four divided by four is just one, so we're left over with one times r. So r is equal to, and 16 divided by four is just four, and that's our answer. So that, hopefully that helped out a little bit. Let's try another example here. So now we have a g. So this time the order is still changed, or changed a little bit, but it's still going to be the same process. So let's keep our equal signs down the middle. So whatever we do the one side, we got it to the other side. Look at here, 39 plus 9g is equal to 75. So the first thing we want to do is, again, that whole number, we want to combine all the like terms. So we want to bring that 39 to the other side. So we start with 39. Oh, and I'm not going to leave myself enough room if I start there. So let's go right here. 39. So we want to minus the 39. Because if there's nothing in front of the 39, we can assume it's a positive. And then we go back to 9g. Keep the equal sign. Keep the 75. But since we minus 39 on this side, we got to minus 39 on this side. So the first th example there, so we have 39 minus 39 is just 0. So we're left over with 9g. And 75 minus 39 is equal to 36. So again, this looks like um, like a lot of what we're doing in our other example. Since we have 9 times g, we want to divide by 9 on this side, divide by 9 on this side. Again, if it doesn't make sense, go check out the other video, and it should help you out. But 9 divided by 9 is 1 times g is just g. And then 36 divided by 9 is 4. So we get our answer of 4. Kind of cool how we pick the same numbers there, too. So uh, hopefully that helped out, and uh, thanks for watching. If you need extra questions, check out my website at mrjfuller.com, and uh, thanks for watching.